reasons why they call it March Madness in basketball, a sea of green and gold in Norfolk today. Spartan spirit is in the air around Norfolk State. Yeah, fans just welcomed home the Norfolk State basketball team home from a historic win, followed by a big loss in yesterday's basketball game against Florida. Tenant your side sports director Bruce Rader is at that welcome home party. Bruce, looks like they're having a great time out there. The party is still going on, Stephanie. You know, education is the heart of any educational institution, but oftentimes intercollegiate sports is its soul. And this was never more relevant than this past week when the old the Norfolk State basketball team not only won the MEAC championship, but went on to Omaha, Nebraska to stun Missouri in the first round of the NCAA basketball tournament. With me right now is the athletic director of Norfolk State and one of the few sportsmen at Hampton Roads that have been at their job longer than I have, Marty Miller and Coach Miller, it was just a dream come true for these young men and the fans. Yeah, this was a great week for Norfolk State Athletics, especially what the men basketball team was able to accomplish. And we are still celebrating, as you can see. And this has not only been just a great week for the basketball team, but the football team won the MEAC football championship this past weekend. Your bowling team won the MEAC championship. You've gone from a Division II program to a Division I program. There have been a lot of obstacles, but you all have been very successful. Well, yes, we've been very fortunate this year. We've, we've won five conference championships now. Most people don't know that, but at the beginning of the school year, we declared that this was going to be the year of the spike. And believe it or not, it is coming true. And with these five conference championships, we feel very, very happy and very proud of our student athletes here. Coach, not only are you proud of your athletes and coaches for what they've accomplished on the court, but you have to be proud of the way that they represented the Spartan nation while in Omaha. People just loved them. Yes, it was outstanding. In fact, I'm still puzzled and, and, and just can't believe the reception that we received from the fans from Kansas, from all over the country that attended the basketball tournament. We became their favorites in Omaha this past weekend. They were the darlings of the nation this past weekend, the Norfolk State Spartans, and we'll have more live coverage from the Welcome Home Celebration coming up with Kyle O'Quinn, the hero of the team, on Wavy News 10 at 6 during the sports wrap. Live at Norfolk State, I'm Bruce Rader. Thomas Stephanie? Maybe he'll sing for us. Yeah. <laughs> Sing nothing. Bruce, I want to see you. I want to see Bruce get back there and join that line dance. Get back there, How Bruce. How about behold the green and gold? How about that? <laughs> Good job. Thank you.